first simple question, how you doing? But I think that you often do great in Poland. Have you ever thought about staying here for the rest of your life? If you got some situation like this, you get many fans here. Yeah, I have. Yes, I mean Poland is is uh, is incredible. It's a very nice country for us. Uh, you know, the music is going really well, and um, I'm very happy. So I'm always very happy to be back in Poland. I love Polish people. You know, you're all very respectful and and uh, very kind to me. So. Um, it's always good to be back. And today is also, you know, the sun is shining, so it's a very nice day, very nice combination. It's close to the weather in Spain, yes, isn't it? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so did you count uh, times in Poland? Which one I think it? I think eight, between eight and ten, I think, something like that. Yeah. All right, that's really nice. Not bad, so you, yeah. Not bad. You hear the word Poland, what's your first impression, first thought? Like, besides girls, of course. <laughs> Uh, pierogi, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and barsh? <laughs> uh, barsh? What is that? Yeah, that's a soup, red soup. Ah, okay, I haven't tried that. Maybe I did try it. It but goes. I don't it goes really often with pierogi. So. Ah, okay. We, yeah, no, I am. Yeah, I mean, and, and the beer is very nice as well. You have a lot of draft beers and uh, you know, um, like craft beers. I mean, very good yeah. ones. Yeah. Students in Poland like uh, beer, so you can talk to them, and we'll teach you something. Yeah, about give me that. some good beer. Yeah, I, I'm I'm very good equipped. I have many people who teach me about their beers. That's good. That's good to have that in Poland. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty curious about your roots because your family is like uh, one big mix of culture, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. Um, can you tell us about about it something? Uh, yeah. I mean, my mom is from Spain. Um, But she's half Belgian, so her her grandma her mother is Belgian, um, and then my father is from from Germany, but he never lived in Germany. He was born in Indonesia, and then he went to Japan to live, and then he moved to Barcelona. That's when they met my mom and my dad, and um, and yeah, and then I lived in I was born in Barcelona, um, but I was always brought up with German and Spanish, so I had Spanish, <coughs> sorry, and German. And then we went to Japan because my dad found a job there. And I lived in Japan for seven years in Tokyo. And then we came back and now I can live between Berlin and and Madrid. Yeah. When you were young and you ch chose the direction of holiday with your family, what mm -hmm. was like? We're gonna, uh, we gonna spend the holiday here or here or here? <laughs> yeah, it depends because it was, I mean, when we were in Japan, it was much better to travel in Asia because we were much closer. So, um, you know, the flights are just not so long. So we went yeah. to Australia, to New Zealand, to um, Hong Kong, you know, Malaysia, um, which from here now from Europe is so far away. So it makes sense. Um, it made sense to do that. And then, but normally we always went to, you know, in summer we, from Tokyo, we always went to, to Barcelona, to the Costa Brava. That's, um, you know, that's just up north from Barcelona, between yeah. France and Barcelona. So it's, it's a very nice place. And my, my grandparents, they used to have a little house there. And we, we always went there because it was a nice familiar place. And, um, and yeah, so that's kind of, yeah, I think I've, I've, before I went back to, before a few years ago, before all the music started with me, I think I'd seen more than from Asia than from Europe, which was crazy as well. But um, yeah, so now I've seen a lot of Europe as well through the music. According to the Japan, you spent here like seven years yes. or something. Yeah, yeah seven years. Uh, learning the piano. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, that's where I, my parents, they gave me a piano when I was 10 and I started, you know, playing on the piano. But I didn't have any lessons, so I didn't learn correctly. You know, I, I had this, I was, um, yeah, I like taught a self myself. Thought, yeah, yeah self-taught, oh. um, yeah. but still... You know, I think if I would would have had uh, classes, maybe I would have stopped playing piano. But at least I would have been a virtuoso piano player. But now I am not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you remember something in Japanese? Or yeah, I no. mean, there's, I can order in Japanese. You know, food. I can go in a restaurant and order Japanese food. Can you order pierogi now for me? Yes. How much? How much? How many? Two or three? Yeah, like three. Okay, then uh, pierogi um, mitsu onegaishimasu. Uh, to okibiru this so yeah that was it kind of i ordered a big beer as well like pierogi three pierogis and a big beer <laughs> okay thank you so much <laughs> that's enough i guess so. that's enough um let's talk about the music because it's uh, the most important thing for mm -hmm. you i guess so oh well, food uh, is also very important but yeah that, let's yeah. talk music now <laughs> okay yeah. uh, la cintura that's definitely a song about beautiful woman's body i guess no no? no, it's about my hips not moving. Like it's about your hips not moving. Yes, it's about me okay. not knowing how to dance. 
All right. I was yes. curious if it's about you or about women and the will to dance with the with the woman. Well, I ask a woman to teach me how to dance, you know, but um, okay. it's a general asking, you know. Um, I mean, the song is about, um, you know, I have this insecurity of not thinking, you know, people, I thought people would think that I, that I dance um, badly, you know, that I don't really know how to dance because I like to move, but I know I never, I never, I would never a dancer. So the thing that I that I said on the song was, okay, I'm going to do this, you know, I'm going to, when I, when I do the melody, when I did the melody, the, the kind of lyrics that came out was, Porque mi cintura. so it was, you know, the word was in there and I said, wow, it sounds really well with the melody, but at the same time, I can't have a song which is called La Cintura because everyone is going to expect me moving the hips and, you know, that has to be cool and everything. And I can't do that. So I, I said, I'm going to, you know, turn it around and, and say that I am, I'm not a good dancer, but that's okay. You know, so I think it's about that. I think there's so many people um, you know, including me, we all have so many insecurities and um, nobody talks about them in music so openly, you know, so I think I think it was a cool idea to just, you know, present myself and say, hey, look, this is how I am and it's okay if you don't know how to dance. You just, you just if you have a good time, then that's all that matters, you know. Yeah, so you don't have like moves like Jagger, you got your La Cintura. Move like, moves like Soler, I have. <laughs> moves like Soler. <laughs> Uh, do you have your favorite cintura size in women? Like, this cintura is a, like <laughs> a simple question. No, it's I like have not. 90, 60, 90, but every got, everyone got. No, I think uh, that's too that's too skinny. 90, 60, 90. That's too skinny. Yes, I think <laughs> oh, right. so. Yeah, I mean, yes, people should eat more. You know, a little, a little more at least. I mean, not be anorexic. You know, that's sometimes. And drink more beer. Uh, yes, yeah, some craft beer from Poland. <laughs> okay. We're here also to talk about your forthcoming album, uh, 14th September? Uh, yes, Is September, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mar de Colores. Mar de Colores, yes. Uh, big day for you. What should we expect on that day? Will Alvaro change on that album or will yes. keep the, the, like the flow going? I think it will be a mixture of both. I think there will be some change because um, it's just a normal evolution in these three years that I've had and but there was there's also going to be you know the same vibe of you know this positive vibe in the songs so I think it's going to be a you know a more urban production on some of the songs but uh, in general I think it's going to be like a like a surprise for everyone I think and I think you know I hope that's going to be cool and I, I'm very curious to think what people um, you know say um, about the album Okay, we know that you that you've worked with J Lo and Monica Levchuk, yes. and many more. Uh, should we expect any collaboration on that that album? Yes, of course, there'll be some collaborations, but uh, I can't tell you now because I they're know. not they're <laughs> not yet close. So I don't I have no idea yet. But will be. Okay. Yes, they will. Yeah. All right. You're almost uh, like 27, 28. Yeah, like my yeah. age. I'm 27. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I remember pretty much from school and study. Do you have your favorite story from that part of time? From school? Yeah, you were like a good student or not at all? Oh, I was a bad student because because I didn't like it. Um, and I am always, I'm still like this. If I don't like something and I have to do it, it's like, oh man, why, why do I have to do this? And I really have to convince myself. Um, and I just do... If I like something, I do it really well. But if I don't like it, I just don't do it at all. So... Um, that's what happened in school, you know, so I had a really bad history teacher and I just hated it. Um, and I also had a really bad math teacher. And then the next year I had a really good one and I, I saw this difference, you know, because when I had the good math teacher, I was really good at math. And with the bad teacher, I was really bad. So um, for me, that was really important. And then, you know, then I went to engineering to study engineering, which has a lot of math and a lot of physics and it went really well. But uh, I think it was always like that. But yeah, in school, I was very shy, you know, and, uh, and, um, and a bit nerdy. Like uh, when when there was no music for you, will you be an engineer? Yes, I hope. I mean, I hope that I would have been a car designer. That's what I studied for. All right. So you get your favorite car now? Yeah. I mean, if I have, if I own it, you mean? Uh, like in your imagination, on, ah, or you you own that? No, I don't own it. But I think um, you know, a Mercedes uh, 300 SL, the Gullwing, is a very nice car from 1956. That's um, a really nice, yeah. I think, you know, I like old cars more than, yeah. So more classic ones than the sport uh, sport ones, yeah? I mean, I like both, but I think the old cars now, they have a, you know, they have a cool... First of all, because if you buy an old car, then, you know, the money doesn't just go away. But if you buy a new car, then two days later, it's worth half. So yeah, that also <laughs> makes sense. That's right. I got a couple of short questions for you, like a short quiz, if, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. 
Um, favorite song to sing in a bathroom for on your own? In a bathroom. Yeah. Uh, I, singing in the shower by Becky G. Becky G. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was a long time ago when she was doing English music still. <laughs> All right. You're more like uh, easygoing man or rather prefer to stay at home? Um, I think I like both. You know, I have my moments. When I get home now, I just like to sleep because I'm super tired. But, but normally I like going out with my friends and having a beer, of course. Okay. When you're in a coffee shop, you choose hot chocolate or iced coffee? Ah, uh, I mean, it's uh, that's a real a really seasonal question. You know, if it's winter, I'll take the hot chocolate. If it's summer, I'll take the the iced coffee. Okay, so more cappuccino or black one? <laughs> uh, cappuccino, yeah. <laughs> Real Madrid or Barcelona? That's a really uh, easy question. Hard question. Easy. Okay. <laughs> yes, Barcelona, of course. <laughs> okay, same like me. <laughs> Very good. Um, night, night owl or sleepy head? Sleepy head, I guess. Um, yes. You see? Yeah, sleepy head. Yeah. You said like, that. I love sleeping. Yeah. Favorite place on earth to stay? Favorite place. I would say the Costa Brava, in like a little boat in the middle of the coast. You know, just hanging out. With the sun, some, some olives, some potatoes. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna teach you how to talk to the girl in Polish. That's uh, like in a funny way, if you don't mind. <laughs> in a funny way, okay. We got some text uh, in Poland that pretty much doesn't work, but we can try that. Okay. Um, hey, masz takie piękne oczy. Hey, masz takie piękne oczy. That's hard. Aniołku, gdzie schowałaś skrzydła? Aniołku, ja się weź, że się wsie. That's a hard that's one. Really it's really long. It's yeah. like, hi Angel, where, where you got your wings? Well, oh my um, God, that's really cheesy. Uh, yeah, it is. We can try the, the last one. You wouldn't say it to a girl here. No, you no, never. You're slap on your face or just walk away, you know. That's okay. right. At, at least one, one more. Um, masz może mapę? Masz może mapę, yeah. Bo zgubiłem się w twoich oczach. Choler. Say the second part again. Bo yeah. zgubiłem się. Bo zgubiłem się. W twoich oczach. W twoich oczach. Okay. Yeah, really nice. It, yeah. It's like, uh, do you have a map because I'm lost in your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's like your father must be a, a thief because he stole two stars from heaven and put them in your eyes. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> that's also really bad. I'm pretty sure that won't work in Poland. Yeah, <laughs> no. I know. You don't have your guitar, but we can sing some so, something. I got a homemade like uh, instrument here. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm gonna take. Myself. I'm gonna take a snaps. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you know the song "Lato Lato Wszędzie? No. Ah. Well, maybe. You got. You got <laughs> I have some lyrics your... here. Yeah. yeah. I have some takes. Uh, yeah. Uh, we can try that. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Lato, 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 lato wszędzie. <laughs> Wait, we also have the delay. So we. You wait. can try that for your own or not? Yes, but I don't know what the melody was again. But well, again. Lato, lato, lato wszędzie. Swaro valo zalalo moje serce. Something like that. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. And the, the other part? The other part. Lato, lato, lato zwiedzie, a ty dziewczę zaraz zwobniesz w moje reszcie. Nice. That's really cool. That's really <laughs> That's cool. like horrible. <laughs> yes. Next time we should do something more easier because this is really... Yes. Okay. Don't you don't you search for some someone for your chorus on stage? <laughs> yes, you can come and join me. Yes. Okay. And I'm in. Or don't you... Yeah. Are you? If you're looking for Polish singers, I'm here for you, as you see. <laughs> I, I can do it perfectly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, uh, the most important thing, I guess, uh, for Polish fans uh, will be June, yeah, and the uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Tower on Life Festival in Oświęcim. Yes. June 15. Can you please invite Polish fans to that concert? Because I know that you're, you're playing on the same stage with Carlos Santana. That's crazy. Yes. That is really okay. crazy. At the, that's the live festival, yeah. Um, Cześć tu Alvaro Soler and we'll see you to zobaczenia uh, on the 15th of June in the live festival. Alvaro, that was really cool to talk to you. Thank, thank you, you so much nice for to talk the time. to you. Yes, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye Have bye. a good day in, in Warsaw. Bye bye bye. Bye.